What's going on, everyone? It's Abdallah here along with Jess. Hi, Internet. And we are giving you guys another exciting Loot Crate unboxing. Yes, all right. So, Jess, why don't you tell everyone at home that is watching right along with us uh, what exactly a Loot Crate is and why do we care about it so much? Hmm. Challenge accepted. This is a Loot Crate. A Loot Crate is something that gets shipped to your... Mm, how, oh, yes. Banna. Loot Crates get shipped to your house once a month and they're full of nerdy goodness with a theme. So this one's theme is combat. There are also anime loot crates that are by loot crates. So if you're a big anime fan, you can get one of those. And I actually took a survey yesterday to see if I'd be interested in a pet loot crate. And I was. The answer was yes, I am interested in that. Yeah, that's pretty Did awesome. Did I answer the question? Because I forgot what I was doing. Anyway, Please Loot Crates, uh, they have plenty of nerdy goodies inside them, and it's it's a subscription service. Uh, if you guys check out the link right up above us over here, uh, lootcrate.com slash Abdallah smash 026, and use coupon code Abdallah Nation to save yourself a little bit of cash. Uh, cats? Whenever, <laughs> no, not cats. Cash. Save yourself a little bit of cash um, whenever you guys go through and buy one, right? They come out to be around like 20 bucks a piece, so that's pretty cool. Worth it. And uh, in case... Oh, unless you want one of their special loot crates. Yeah, special That they have out crates. now, right now. So if you want to get somebody on your like Christmas list, mm -hmm. a super awesome loot crate, you can get them like a Star Wars loot crate or it was like Rebels loot crate no. or I think it was Call of Duty. I could be lying to you right now, but those are like $100, but they said they're full of like... $200 of goodness. That's right. Anyway, so I want to welcome each and every one of you guys that are watching this to Loot Crate Live. It's where we go through and we upload the actual live unboxing of this. this dun, is, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, there's, there's no editing involved. We can actually see all of your comments um, and everything is looking good. So thanks for being here. All of you guys that are watching post live stream, thanks for watching as well. So, uh, yeah, we saw Rocco. Rocco had a little cameo appearance. That was kind of Isn't fun. Isn't he beautiful? Yeah, Rocco's very beautiful. Okay, so today's Loot Crate, actually November's Loot Crate theme is called Combat. 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 Now, do you recognize the background that we're in, Jess? Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Can any one of you guys in the comments right now actually name the level? This is going to be tough. I know it. Great Wall of China. It's very close to Great Wall of China, actually. So my challenge is out to you guys in the comment section. Let me know. First person um, who names it correctly might get something special. And if you just guess, you get nothing but fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, why don't we see a sh uh, 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 what is that? Um, a show of hands? A show of hands. Let's see a show of hands uh, for all the guys that have purchased a Loot Crate before oh. or are <laughs> fans of it. Yeah. Woohoo. Right here. We love Loot Crate. Yeah, uh, Loot Crates are awesome. And I can't wait to open this guy up. I can already hear. And I can I already hear some already cool stuff. already announced next month's Loot Crate theme. Ooh. Which we'll tell you later. Okay, Stop we'll being to... distracted. Stop being in the future. We're in the now. Be yes, here. that's right. I don't We're think anyone's... We're here right now. We're here right now forever. Yeah, no one's actually... Oh, okay, there we go. Gravity Falls expert, Suzaku Castle. Good job. Gravity Falls expert, you may have won something. Well, you'll have to remind me what you win a little bit later. Great Wall of Japan. <laughs> Edge of Nightmare says Great Wall of Japan. That's hilarious. And Dark Ride TV also says Suzaku Castle. All right, yes. So it's Suzaku Castle. It's a very iconic combat level. But anyway, enough about that. You're here for the loot crate, right? Let's pop this bad boy open. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, oh, oh, can you guys see this? Oh, oh, okay, Got okay. Well, here, I'll give you the crate, and I'll oh, take yeah, the instruction manual. Oh, yeah, we can't switch spots. I'm Vanna White. Yes. Anyway, so inside every loot crate is a very cool, I would say, crate guide. Ooh. A crate concierge mm. that you can actually go through and read up on. Um, we're actually going to read up on a couple things before we get into the actual item. So... Um, ready for combat. Bam. Dun, I like dun, the dun. I like the design. They always do a great job designing. Oh these. yeah. You can see that. There's uh the Street Fighter looking guy, there's uh, a guy with a gun. This is uh Zach Think Frock's doing. Just in case you read the inside of the guide. Oh, what are you talking He's about? He's the crate designer. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, so they say, uh, now hello, you know. and thanks for joining us. This month, we're exploring the fun, fantastical fighters who take crazy combat to exaggerated arenas with exclusive items from Fallout 4, Cupid Deadly, and Street Fighter, plus a few more items, including something from the Hunger Games, to help you combat boredom. I love the Hunger Games. Wow, me too. Just FYI. 
All right. Uh, it says, our feature articles include an examination of video game rivalries. They look at kids fighting kids in fiction and an overview of our YouTube channel. And, of course, you'll find descriptions of all the products in the crate starting on page 18. Keep fighting the good fight. Team Loot Crate. Okay, thanks. So that's cool. Uh, if you guys actually use some of these hashtags, uh, Loot Crate Combat over here, if you use that, or just hashtag Loot Crate, or even our hashtag, Loot Crate Live, right over there, um, you too can possibly get your picture featured in the Loot Crate Guide. The Loot Crate and that guide. is from last month's Loot Crate time, yeah. where we got some of that awesome stuff. That was probably a one of my favorite crates. I love that one. I love that one a lot. There was a Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure t-shirt in it, and mm -hmm. I wear that frequently. Yeah, and we just recently saw Hunger Games Part 2. We did. That has nothing to do with last month's Loot Crate, though. Right, but I'm talking about oh, this Oh, okay. Loot You're crate. now yes. back in the We're present. We're back in the present time. I was anyway. in the past. So, let's see a show of hands, all of you guys with the little hand emojis. How many of you guys are fans of Hunger Games? Uh, hand emoji, hand, hand emoji. Hand emoji, right now. Wow, Hunger Games is really good. And how many of you guys actually saw the second one? Hopefully you guys did. Or the fourth one, or the, the last second, one. Yeah, the fourth, the fourth movie, right? The, the newest one! The newest one that's in theaters, near you. And me. Anyway, that was pretty good. So, yeah, there's a Hunger Games item in here. I wonder what it's going to be. That's going to be pretty cool. It's a picture of... Uh, Katniss. I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, know. yes. A Katniss one. Like a poster. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, you don't know what it is? Okay. I have no idea. Fallout 4. A lot of you guys uh, like Fallout 4. I've never played the game, but I people are obsessing about it. They're I know about falling about down. So yeah. I don't know about falling out. Hmm. Fallout 4. Interesting. Hey, hands. Game lovers. Yeah, you guys see it. All right, cool. So, one of the things that I actually want to go over, and this will kind of be fun. Um, it'll be an interactive way of interacting with the audience, all of you guys that are watching right now. Um, epic video game rivalries. We talk about combat, right? This is all about a combat loot crate. So they give us four scenarios. And we'll start off with the very first one. We'll go through and we'll find out. I'll read the little excerpt and then you guys, while I'm reading it, you'll tell me who would win in a fight. Uh, and then the reasonings why. And then Jess and I will discuss some points, okay? Uh, yes. I don't know some of those things. Okay, you don't know some of these people, but that's okay. I'll explain it. And those of you guys in the comments, if you want to explain who these people are so Jess will understand, you can do go ahead and do so. So anyway, here we go. So the very first video game rivalry they um, talk about in here is none other than Street Fighter's very own mascots, Ken and Ryu. I vote okay. for Ryu just because of his name. Ryu and Ken. You guys know him, right? That's Ryu and Ken. That's Mario. <laughs> Ryu and Ken. Sneak peek of the other sneak rivals. Sneak peek of the other ones. All right. So Ryu and Ken. All right. Uh, Hadouken versus Shoryuken, right? They, even, they all have the same moves. All right. So Street Fighter's most iconic brawlers have been going at it since they were training together as kids and were actually the only two playable characters in the first Street Fighter game. Little did you guys know. I didn't know that. I knew that. Well. That's actually common knowledge. No, I'm kidding. Their rivalry is a friendly one, or at least as friendly as seeing who can punch each other in the face the most can be. Ryu is more the silent wanderer with a hidden dark side type, while Ken is pretty much loud and obnoxious. Uh, they're basically the Jay and Silent Bob of the fighting world. Only people actually respect their skills. Fun fact, Ryu's iconic headband was given to him by Ken, who had previously used it to tie back his luxurious locks. That Ryu has worn it... Uh, for all of his adult life and is a testament to how few clothes he owns or their enduring friendship. Okay. So they're friends or not friends? They are friends, yes. They're Ryu. Rival friends? They're rivals, are yes. Are they frenemies? They're fr no, they're not enemies. They're like best friends. So Ryu's from like Japan and Ken is from America. And I guess they met, they got trained by the same trainer, like Go Goten, I think. I don't know. You guys correct me on Street Fighter lore. Anyway, so who would win in a fight? Ryu versus Ken. Ryu. And why? He's got a cool headband. He's got a cool headband, okay. And Ryu's in Smash Bros. Right? Little known fact. Little known fact. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, well, Ken, actually. Where is this a figurine, then? Where I is this amiibo? No, his amiibo is not uh, yet released. Okay. So <laughs> Ken actually has the ability to, um, he's got, like, fire moves. Like, his Shoryuken, it's an uppercut of fire, which is pretty cool. That's what kind of makes him stand out. And uh, it's multiple hits versus like Ryu is like just one strong hit. So a person versus a super person? Um, yeah, yeah, I would say so. Well, see, Ryu also has a dark side. It's called like Dark Ryu. And like he. Like Dark Link? Kind of like, no, no, not at all like Dark Link. Um, Ryu 
has some like crazy powers and he can be like evil Ryu. If like the dark Hado like takes over him. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you guys at home care about Street Fighter that much. But anyway, Ryu would win in a fight, hands down. That's it. And a lot of you guys say it in the comments too. None of you guys are saying Ken. That's well, we it. all agree then. Okay, deal. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so here we go. Another rivalry, a video game rivalry, is Scorpion and Sub Zero. I know these friends. You know these guys, right? What do they say in their. Um, do you remember? Finish him. Oh, they say finish him. Okay, that's pretty good. What else do they say? Scorpion, does, does he have an iconic like, saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Wait, what, I didn't see that. Why don't you, you show Rewind us Rewind then. <laughs> Rewind. What, what does Scorpion do again? He takes his mask off and then he eats them. Mm, no, that's reptile. Reptile eats them. Oh, uh, Scorp oh, he's. Do you remember what Scorpion does or what he says? He's, he's got a very yellow, iconic. He's the yellow uh, ninja. He's the yellow ninja. In Mortal Kombat. He's the yellow ninja in Mortal Kombat. That's correct. Okay, so who I was guys... a big, I was a big Sub Zero fan, so I'm already voting for Sub Zero. He freezes you and then okay. he breaks you into pieces. There you go. See, there that you go. One... <laughs> There we go. So, um, a lot of the comments are, they're kind of giving you hints as to what Scorpion says. He oh. Says, he says uh, an iconic phrase. They're just yelling Scorpion. <laughs> you say Scorpion? No, at least like five people over here are telling you exactly what he says. You can even look at Amethyst Rose on the very get top. Get over here. Yes, yes, get over here. But it's more like, get oh, over and here! Then they stick him with the sticker and then he goes, boom, boom. Is that that one? You stick him with the sticker and you go boom, boom. <laughs> no, he's got a spear and he throws a spear and at you. And then does he pull you in? It. Yes. And then he flips you. No, then the more the com the combo is doing an uppercut. I'm not thinking about the finishing him. And finishing him? Yeah, he could do something with this spear that he throws at you, sure. But iconically, from the first Mortal Kombat, he takes off his mask and he's a skull underneath there. Yeah. And then he blows fire and then he destroys you in fire. I haven't played Mortal Kombat since I was a child. Have you? <laughs> but I have seen the movie. Oh, okay. The movie was great, by the way. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Uh, Mortal Kombat is a series uh, rife with rivalries and blood feuds and really catchy techno music. But nothing comes close to the never-ending battle between the brightly clad ninja Scorpion and Sub-Zero. The original Sub-Zero murdered everyone in Scorpion's clan, prompting Scorpion to go on a path of vengeance, making him basically Batman plus evil magic. Uh, so Spawn... Uh, anyway, Scorpion totally killed Sub-Zero, which prompted Sub-Zero's younger brother to take up the blue vest and swear vengeance on Scorpion. Meanwhile, the original Sub-Zero became an evil wraith named <laughs> Noob Saiba. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm here. <laughs> They're making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> In the nicest possible All place. All right, so, so original Sub-Zero became Noob Saiba. <laughs> Because giving terrifying things hilarious names is also a great idea. So depending on the game, there's a lot of fighting, and one dude yells, get over here. Another dude tries not to breathe like Darth Vader. Another dude is just sort of an angry Aww. shadow. All while Liu Kang Bicycle kicks his way throughout the plot. All right, so oh, okay. here we go. Um, um, so right, and there's... Right, 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 right. <laughs> Rai. Yeah, Rai Rai. I think his name was Rai Rai. You're right. It's like Ryu. Yeah. Yeah, something. Ryu. There you go. Ryan. He's in two games. And he has lightning bolt eyes. And he has lightning <laughs> bolt eyes. Okay. Does do any of you guys know what Jess is talking about? I have no idea. Okay, so who would win the fight? Uh, Rai Rai Ry with the lightning bolt eyes or Scorpion? No, I'm kidding. Okay, let's see. All of you guys uh, in the comments right now, who would win the fight? Scorpion or Sub Zero? Obviously, I just told you that Scorpion killed Sub Zero, but like in he's reality, coming back. he came back as Noob Saiba. We knew that, he, and I just told you that his, his son, melted. no, his brother. Sorry, his brother came back to seek vengeance on Scorpion. His pieces melted, and he reformed because that's how ice works. Sure. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, this is fun. <laughs> his name is Raiden or Raiden. It's actually Raiden, sorry. Raiden. <laughs> is this just make fun of Jess Day? Come on, hello, what are you doing? I'm having fun. Yeah, you're having fun? Rai Rai, the lightning guy, yes, yes. No. Anyway, so I think that, um, I don't know, I, I guess it's a battle of fire versus ice, isn't it? He has a spear? I just explained to you hmm, why okay. Sub-Zero can't die, because he's made of ice. 
Got it, got it. Okay, so a lot of people in the comments vote Scorpion would win, because obviously he did win. So if they had a rematch, I think Scorpion would win too. Okay, so this is, a really, this is a really good one. Uh, hand me that. For this. That. For this. Hand me that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so here's another cool <laughs> rivalry. Um, I like this one. Uh, this is Mario. Ah. Mario. <laughs> That's Waluigi. <laughs> See, Mario actually floats. Notice that? You see him floating right there? I have some magical powers that makes him, like, float. <laughs> That's super cool. That is pretty awesome. You see how, like, I, I'm, like, using my Mario powers? Anyway, so Mario and versus Bowser. Who would win in a fight? There are some people who might disagree this choice, saying that Donkey Kong was Mario's first real enemy or that Luigi deserves the title of Mario's chief rival, but those people are wrong. Mario and Bowser are the epitome of Nintendo rivals. Forever locked in battle because they partied together. Just like Daisy and uh, Rosalina. Because they just don't know that many other people. Bowser is constantly kidnapping Princess Peach because her entire security force is made up of mushrooms. <laughs> and Mario is constantly rescuing her because he gets to do cool stuff like step on turtles and ride dinosaurs. And, well, there are just some people who will fight armies of monsters and tear down castles for him. It's just uh, a kind of John Carter of Mars situation in which Mario is John Carter and Bowser is Mars. Okay, anyway, floating Mario aside... Hovering Mario is magical. Anyway, who would win in a fight? Mario versus Bowser. I think Mario. we all know the answer to that. Because he does every time. Yes, Mario. Settle it in Smash. Of course Mario is going to win. I'm Mario. a big Come fan on. of Bowser, but no, Mario would win. Yeah, Mario would totally win. A couple people like Bowser, though. You all think that, but he hasn't proven to do it yet. He yeah, hasn't. yeah. Bowser is, Bowser is really cool. So, anyway. All right, here's a cool one for you Pokemon fans out there. Uh, red and blue versus Ash, and, or sorry, red and blue or Ash and Gary because um, red is Ash. Could you, technically, can you hello Professor Oak? <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to hear my Professor Oak impression? I don't know. If enough people in the comment section ask for it, then I'll. It's good. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll maybe bust out my Professor Oak impression. Anyway, so uh, Red and Blue, uh, or Ash and Gary, all right, so or whatever you decide to name them. Exactly, that's what I was talking about. Pokemon is built around monsters fighting each other, so it's kind of surprising that the biggest rivalry in the games is between two human beings. Blue slash Gary, or whatever you told Professor Oak his grandson's name was, makes it his goal to get strong and take you down, whatever <laughs> your name is. Or if you're a boy or a girl. Remember that? No? Play Pokemon? I'm a girl. You played Pokemon once. I'm still a girl. Uh-huh. Which is pretty much exactly what you spend the game doing, too. As you struggle on your journey to force animals to fight and thus increase your social status, uh, Blue or Gary seems to show up at the most inopportune times. Maybe he thinks that beating you is finally getting him recognition, recognition from a family that doesn't seem to care about his existence. Or maybe he's just looking for a friendly face that reminds him of a poem as he travels the world alone. Either way, he made the mistake of calling himself your rival, so you're pretty much going to destroy him and everything that he holds dear. <laughs> That's cool. That's so, uh, yeah, um, that's red and blue. So Gary and Ash. Um, Ash, of course, is always going to beat Gary, right? Because Ash is Pikachu. That Pikachu. Why don't you show off your favorite Pikachu? She's got a green shirt on. Come on, let's go. You can show everyone your favorite <laughs> Pikachu. This is Professor <laughs> Jess, the this Pikachu. This is Professor Jess. She's a little, look, at see, she's got her little graduation cap on. Uh-huh. She's wearing a green vest, not a... Secret. It's a magical green vest, actually. <laughs> Her name's Professor Jess Pikachu. Yeah. Anyway, so Ash is Pikachu, the most strongest She's Pikachu in the world. She's a girl Pikachu. Yeah. How do you know it's a girl Pikachu? Um, because the tail is a heart. Hmm. That's right. <laughs> anyway, so uh, red and blue, those are pretty good uh, epic rivalries. But still, Ash is always going to win. You know what I want to know about Pikachus? What? I mean, Pokemon. What's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to know how if they eat them. How do they? Who? If people eat Pokemon? Yeah. People do eat Pokemon. It's I true. I want to know how you know which Pokemon are acceptable Pokemon to eat and which Magikarp. Pokemon are not acceptable Pokemon. Magikarp to eat. is edible. I want to know if you them. go to a restaurant and you order like the bull Pokemon as a the snack. Tauros burger. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. And people eat the bison too, and the Magikarp, which is a fish. Mm -hmm. They eat all that stuff. Is there a chicken Pokemon? There is a chicken Pokemon. His name is it. Combuskin. I don't know if they eat Kentucky Fried Combuskin, but... Anyway, let's get to the stuff inside the uh, loot crate, shall we? All right, so here we Everybody go. Everybody wants to hear you, Professor Oak. Professor Oak. Oak. <laughs> okay, Professor Oak. What does Professor Oak say? I forgot. What, what does he say? He goes, uh, this is at the beginning of Pokemon Puzzle League. You guys have played this, right? 
<laughs> he goes, Hello, Ash. <laughs> Hello, Ash. Well, hi, Professor Oak. That's, That's the only my favorite. Know. Every single time we played that, that's my favorite. Right at the beginning? <laughs> when you he like calls up. Bring, bring. Hello, Ash. Hi. Well, hi, Professor Oak. That's the only thing I know. Thank Hello, you. Ash. That's all I know how to say. That's all I wanted. That's Hello, all Ash. I wanted. Okay, so yeah. let's do this. All right. Uh, we're not even doing a Loot Crate I, We're just today. talking. We're... Yeah, we're just talking. You know, Don't. <laughs> forget Loot Crate. <laughs> Don't no, go to lootcrate.com slash abdallahsmash026 and use I coupon code abdallahnation. All right, here we go. So uh, the very first thing we're getting is uh, exclusive Cupid Deadly Magnets at Ooh, Blizzard Entertainment. No, um, Cupid Deadly, I don't know. That's 11 magnets. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's actually in there. Okay, pop that open. Where do you see that they're magnets? I don't know, actually. Here, this is interesting. No, no, these that's the them. toy. These are them. Okay, we got some magnets. <coughs> wow. Okay, well... What is Cupa Deadly? Is that a thing? Cupa Deadly? I don't Look know. Look at the background of the stickers. Look at it. It's going crazy. Look at it. Yeah, it looks pretty crazy. Like it's like... It's actual, like, blizzard magic coming out of it. This special set includes 11 magnets of the Blizzard Entertainment's most memorable villains, including Kerrigan, Arthas, and Diablo. Ooh, Kerrigan. Let me guess. Kerrigan is the girl with the nails and the thingies? Okay, so it's a magnet set. All right, so here's what... Uh, what was that guy that won earlier? Uh, he won Suzaku Castle? Out. No, his, his name was something else. You guys can tell me who that person was that won earlier. You get one of these magnets. How about that? And if you're a, if you're a current Patreon supporter, then I'll send you a magnet as well. I think there's more Patreons than there are magnets. Yeah, if there's a Patreon <laughs> supporter that's watching right now. Oh, I popped one out by accident. That's okay. Here, show them. We won't give the whole sheet, but we'll give you a couple of these. Here you go. So look at that. So it's a pretty cool little dragon with a helmet. I'm not too familiar with... Um, I don't know what these are. I feel like we need to use Google now. Blizzard is like um, World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, um, all that stuff. So whoever the name... Yeah, Gravity Fails, expert. He's the guy that won the Suzaku Castle. You need to private message me on YouTube like right now and give me your information. Full name, mailing address, and I'll send this over to you when we're done with this. All right, so that's pretty cool. You don't have to put it back. Here, come on. Who else do we got? We have to show them all off. I, I did that. Okay, so yeah, there's a screaming the little girl. Yep, and the yeah, there's another thing on there. So this looks pretty cool. You can get whatever one you want. So let me know. Let me know. Bam. First dibs, you. Yes, that's right. Patreon supporters. And so let me know which ones you want. Gravity Falls expert. Yes. Okay. So here we go. So now we have an exclusive Fallout for Vault Boy Bobblehead. Don't know what that means. Uh, but he's Vault in Boy. Here. Vault Boy is apparently the, um, I guess, the mascot of the Fallout series. I've never played Fallout. What the heck is it about? I don't know. It's some crazy game that people are obsessing over. It's not Mario, so I don't really know what it is. But um, here we go. So we're so they are so excited to play Fallout Four that uh, they decide to commemorate the new game with a Vault Boy bobblehead of your very own. Measuring nearly six inches tall, he's got an exclusive pose that can only be found in this month's loot crate. I feel like we should have called our friends and asked them what it meant. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well. oh, hey, excuse me. Hello. Hey, everyone that likes Fallout. Vault I Boy. I know what Fallout Boy is. I know what Fallout Boy. That has nothing to do with combat. Uh oh. Oh, look at this thing. Here, show them open you yet. I don't know that. You gotta unbox it for them. There we go. I am. Okay, so this is it. He's cute. He's if I knew cute. what this game was, I would be excited about getting this. His head just moves around. What if... You know what? You want an Abdallah bobblehead? We can actually customize this. We can customize this like an amiibo. Okay, so really all you need is... You want um, me to paint his hair brown and you then... You can paint his hair brown. Put some white stripes going white down stripes this White stripes on the side, yep, yep. And then... I'll give him a little goatee. Little, give him a little goatee. Ooh. I don't know if my hair looks like his. Here, show everyone. Does my hair kind of look like Not that? Not at all, but we Not at all, but I can... It. Yeah, we can do something like that. And then I'll just stand there like that, and we'll make an Abdallah Smash we'll bobblehead. We'll say, do you like Yokai Watch? Yeah, and then he'll be definitely saying that. Look how fast he nods. That means he really, really That's likes right. it. Oh my goodness! Not like I'm playing Yokai Watch Literally, in the background or anything. Right here, you guys right see this? Now, guys. I'm like, I'm like searching yeah. for, <laughs> I'm searching for someone in Yokai Watch while we're playing this. All right, someone. Shoutouts to anyone who can actually name that yokai that I just showed you on screen. Scary dragon monster, actually, devil guy. Actually, first person to name that yokai on screen will actually get a magnet. How about that? Because we're giving away magnets. 
And then right. you have to private message us. And you have to private message me on YouTube in order to get it. But you only have until the end of today. That's how it goes. Oh, yeah. First one. The end. Okay. All right. So, oh, they, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm excited for this. Hold on. Uh, yes. So, here we go. TMNT. You guys know what you know that what stands that for? You guys no. know what that stands for? TMNT? This we is something. Do. This is something that Jess and I grew up on. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at that. Okay. All right. Zarivas says Gargos. I call him Gargos. Uh, but Gargaros is his technical name. So. Garagarapo. Garagarapo. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Silphus Lek Emmy is the first person that said it, and Zarivas too. Okay. So you need to private message me. Tell me which one of these things you want. Sorry, and I'll send it do over you to not you. even see who you're sitting next to? I see next this. To? This is Gara Gara po right over you're here. This Gara is Gara Gara po. This is the arch enemy and master ninja Shredder is a worthy opponent to man and turtle alike. As every warrior needs his armor, slip these on, <laughs> slip on these imposing shades with UV filters to help protect your peepers from some harmful sun damage. Yeah, so if you're at the beach, you just totally bust these out. <laughs> <laughs> if you're at the beach, yep. <laughs> Absolutely, okay. if you're at the beach. You, you will get the coolest tan line. <laughs> you, and you'll win all the chicks. They'll just come flocking to or you. Or gentlemen, if you're a lady. Or you just prefer gentlemen. Oh, very nice. You very nice. You want to wear these, don't you? I do actually want to try them on. What do they look like? I what do you see They're actually them? really nice. They're like a good They're quality UV... sunglasses. <laughs> They're UV... Give me that. Right I'm now. really... I like right I'm digging now. this. I right like now. how I look. Before... Little Vault Boy slash gonna be Amiibo custom <laughs> to Abdallah Smash. And then see, like, you can, like, make the little Nintendo logo on the back uh, of Oh, I thing. wish we still had our other Loot Crate glasses from, uh... We have gotten very, very similar, probably made by the same company, Nintendo... Or, these are by Nickelodeon. Oh, these are by Nickelodeon. Look at uh, that. Whoa! Yeah! Raphael. We got, yeah, we had some Raphael we glasses in the previous one. We gave them to my nephew. One. These are definitely shredder shades. Aren't Good they job, nice? Love Summer. That was yeah. These are pretty cool. They're good. I could totally drive down, like, the, drive street. down the street. Like imagine like <laughs> if if you pulled up next to me and I look out there at you and, and you look at me, and I'd be like, "You're mine." All right, best ninja turtle. All right, yeah. Let's see it. Who are your favorite ninja turtles right now in the comments? Your favorite ninja turtle. Number okay, one. fine. One. Give me one ninja turtle Obviously and why he's the best. Good. Why is he your favorite Except ninja turtle? For one of them. What are you talking about? Mm. All the Ninja Turtles are great. What are you talking about? Uh, oh, the girl Ninja Turtle. That's what you were talking about, right? That's not who I was talking about. <laughs> I do not know her. She's not of my generation. She is. She's in the movie. She's in the third movie. The girl Ninja Turtle. She's like light blue. No, she's not in the third movie. How many of you guys know? Are you talking about the movie where the Ninja Turtles are in Japan or China? They're in Japan or something. I and think they, they went to up. China. And Raphael, like, adopts a little boy. There's no flipping girl turtle. Tell me the name of the girl turtle in the comment section right now. And if she was in the third movie, which is really the only thing that's important, because she was not. Okay, whatever. Okay, so a lot of people the like The third Leo. movie is just the four boys. And then Raphael goes off and adopts, and they're in a subway car. Uh-huh. See, I... Okay, so my favorite is Donatello. Because he was smart. Who did you like? Michelangelo. Everyone likes Michelangelo because he's funny. Michelangelo and, he's silly. and I identify with each other because we like would pizza. both eat a whole pizza by ourselves. Uh -huh. And I am hilarious. Yes. You just don't understand Michelangelo because you're not funny. Uh, I'm so funny. <laughs> Amethyst Rose says there is a girl ninja turtle named Venus. Not in movie three. I don't know, but. Get, get me IMBD up here. No. I was actually I am, Venus in that movie. You were not. I was Venus. No, Island. there is no girl Ninja Turtle in the third Ninja Turtle movie. And I'm talking about the original three movies that came out when me and Abdallah were small human beings. The first one was excellent, where mm -hmm. where they take the ooze and they make two, they make a uh, ra ratchet. What are you talking about? They make, uh, like, the snapping turtle. The bad guys take the ooze, Shredder takes the <laughs> ooze, and he makes... He makes the snapping turtle and Taka. Taka and the is it like a rat? A razor. Razor. <laughs> Both of them are ratchet. Um, and then and then they have to fight the Ninja Turtles. That's the first movie. And then the second movie 
is my favorite, and I can't remember it right now, except for the opening scene, because I watched the opening scene like 400 times, and they're in the toy store, and they're mm. fighting, and then they're fighting the clown, and then the yeah. clown goes down, and then the Ninja Turtle comes up, and that is brilliant! Yes, yeah, so it's very funny. And then the funny. fourth one, they go to China. <laughs> <laughs> and so he just rattled off. adopts a little boy. And apparently there is uh, another Ninja Turtle called Venus. Not in the third one. She came Maybe out, the fourth like, one. Yeah, but I didn't watch that because I only cared about the first three movies, especially the second one, especially the beginning. Give me these right now. They want me to wear them. I'm wearing them. I have them. a lot of feelings. I couldn't even read your comments because I have that many feelings about Ninja Turtles. And when we were growing up, I had all the Ninja Turtle toys and the Ninja Turtle van and you know, April O'Neil. Yeah, and I had that too. it was the best, and I had all those, and I think I gave them to my cousin as I got older, and that was a big regret See, like, of mine. what you didn't know is the fact that if you wear these upside down, you look like a pretty awesome ninja. You look like Shredder, like his bottom portion, right? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I was reading. I was reading. I didn't know you did that. This is awesome. This is legitimately how you're supposed to wear them. See, you got these mm -hmm. awesome little points over here. Oh. Yeah. This is, okay. Oh, so God. we good here? We good here? This is awesome. Ninja Turtles, what is happening? I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't understand that there is a girl Ninja Turtle, guys. There I is. I get that. There I don't is. care about her because she's not one of the original four. She's not one mm -hmm. I grew up with. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Just like the Power Rangers. I only care about the original Power Rangers. I don't care about what came after them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know when Kimberly was the Pink Ranger, that is when I cared. Oh, the girl is April. <laughs> of course we're not talking about April O'Neil here, We all dude. know April O'Neil in her killer yellow mm -hmm. jumpsuit from the cartoons. Yep, yep. It's yep. like a mouth cover. This is like <laughs> a mouth cover. This thing's pretty cool. All right, here, you want to wear them? I want to go watch Ninja Turtles. All right, here we go. Last thing. No, second to last thing. Actually, come on. Let's go. Moving on. We're busy. Okay, here we go. I still have this. Did you No, actually, this? here we go. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 pin. Yeah! What is the little, what's the little, how does the little jingle go? I can't do jingles right now. I'm in Ninja Turtle Land. Yo, here, hold on. I got to show it a little closer. I'm taking out the plastic. Not yet. We can't unbox this yet. Look at this thing right now. The Hunger Games. Mockingjay. Mockingjay. All right, go ahead. First, mm, yes. Yes. Do it. I love, I'm, I'm doing it. See do my it. hands, see my hands working. Remember when people think that, um, who do we like better? Do we like Pita better? Or do we like, what's his name? Gail. Gail. Gail V. Pita. Uh-oh, let's see this pin. Oh, it's a, uh, it's one of these pins. Okay, that's we pretty like cool. We like Pita better because Pita. Pita tried to kill Katniss. Not because he wanted to. He was brainwashed. It wasn't his fault. The Trekker Jack Venom. Pita took a beating for Katniss when he didn't even have to, when he was littler, and mm -hmm. he gave her the bread. He mm -hmm. loved her forever. Mm -hmm. She didn't even realize it. But and Gail Gale, was watching Gale her loves family. Her and he loves her family, but he is he's too dark. He's mm -hmm. too dark for her. Mm -hmm. He killed all those people. It was hey, hilarious. spoiler <laughs> alert. Hold on. You got to hold on. People haven't seen the movie. Whoa, easy or there. Or maybe read the book. I don't or know, Or read guys. the book. Maybe okay, here we go. Come on. read the book two years ago. So look at this cool thing. Oh, that is awesome. I like that a lot. Get to your local library. And read. Hunger Games. Yes. Because the book is freaking phenomenal. And you know what? I was not a big young adult reader. Mm -hmm. And I, I chose to read the Hunger Games. Mm -hmm. And... And... I, it made me read more young adult books because I thought it was so good. Yeah. Just so you know. My child doesn't know how to read. I don't know how to read. Well, I'm reading this. That show that proves my He's literacy. I'm actually just reading the picture. <laughs> I'm, really I'm making it up as I'm going along. <laughs> anyway, uh, the fur, just in time for the final installment of The Hunger Games, uh, we offer you this prop replica of the tribute token worn by the heroine Katniss Everdeen. Symbolizing her beauty, vulnerability, Pause. and strength. Duck in a bow, that's exactly why I like pita, because he rhymes with pizza. Thank you. Continue. What? Like pita in? Or pita pita? Oh, pita in. All right, pita she'll pita. never leave District 12 without it. Or will she? I think that's pretty cool. I like that. That is a really cool... I know. I don't want to put it on my like winter coat, so all year you can... Yeah, you can put it, it on there, and then pizza. bam. That is awesome. Yeah, that's my little mocking, <laughs> it's your mocking Jay pin. That's right. I kind of thought it was going to be the other pin that they always, like, 
like the circle. Yeah, the like the yeah you know the emblem, saying? yeah the yeah. circular one, like that's on the movie. That's cover. what I thought it was gonna be, but it wasn't. I was wrong because I'm wrong. Okay, so here we go. Now this is Street Fighter. Now this is coming into action. Okay, what happens when actual Loot Crate employees team up with the heroes of Street Fighter to crush the sinister Shadowloo? and save the world from total annihilation? Well, it might be Doomsday, but for whom? We're not saying, so you have to read this original comic to find out! Whoa! Look at that guile! Dun, 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 Let's talk dun, about dun, this dun, lady dun, in the background really quick. Dun, 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 Ain't no girl dun, fighting dun, in that. Dun, 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 dun. No matter dun, dun, what. Dun, 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 no one can fight in that. Dun, 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 dun. Her shoes are reasonable, though. Her outfit is unreasonable. You guys know that song? What What song is that? It's Abdallah's favorite song. That's the Guile theme goes with everything. You guys know that, right? Is it called Guile theme goes with everything? Uh, yes, it's actually called Guile's theme goes with everything. This looks pretty cool. I don't even know if I want to open this. this I don't even know so if I know rare. how to read to read it. I, I read pictures, remember? <laughs> um, I'll be fine. I read pictures. This is awesome. I love Street Fighter. I love the Street Fighter lore. I was schooling you guys on Street Fighter earlier, so this is, this is pretty awesome. How many of you guys knew that music that I was singing in the background? It's pretty good. All right. Is that empty? Because I still have this. No, no, I still got a couple more things. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Cute but deadly vinyl mystery figures. Ah! It's upside down. Ah! Okay. While they may thrive on chaos and evil, these legendary Pite Signs villains are sure cute. Highly detailed from head to toe, these 2.5 inch figures showcase video gaming baddies from Diablo, StarCraft, and Warcraft. Be on the lookout for a very special orange Murloc as he's a loot crate exclusive. One figure per crate. Oh, well, guys, comic codes are good for you. Dan. Mm -hmm. Dan graphic novels. Mm -hmm. That's how you get kids to read. Oh, okay. That's why comic I... books, yeah, like a yokai watch That's comic why you book. get kids to read. Yeah, I read a lot. I read the text on screen. That's really all you need in life. <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on. Show them what that looks like. You're, I'm looking you're for the it. cherry. There it is. There we go. You're hogging part. it from everyone. It's like it's a bag like of popcorn. It's like a bag of potato chips. Okay. It has the cherry the tearing thing. Okay, here we go. Yeah. What do we oh. got? Oh, wow. What? Oh, remember when we opened Buddha... Homer Simpson Homer on a, And I was smelling his butt on the, on the and video, And he yeah. smelled like fresh pool toys. Oh, yeah. What is this? Come on, I'm show put, everyone. I'm putting his pieces together. Put it up like right over here so they can see what you're doing. They don't want to know. They want to see doing. that. They want to know the final product, not the struggle. Oh, come on, the struggle is real. Help me out here. Look at this cool thing that we got. I don't know what an orange murloc is, but we didn't get that. What is this thing? He's got a magical gem that like, yeah. you can see through on his forehead? His, actually, if you pause the live stream and just look really, really into it, it'll tell your future. It'll tell you also, your future. smell it. Oh, yeah. Right? That's that new plastic smell. We like that. Oh, he comes with a cool little sword. Look at this thing. Look at the detail on this little sword here. Oh, man, that's pretty cool. I don't know what the heck this thing is, but he looks pretty awesome. You can put, oh, wow, his hand actually rotates. Look, you can put the sword in it. Yeah. Oh, uh, someone would like to know what our favorite book is. Our favorite book is The Yokai Watch Strategy Guide by Prima Games. <laughs> hey, look at this cool dude. So does he have a name? Can any one of you guys uh, name this thing? No idea. He's on the front of the box, so he must be pretty flipping important. He must be important. good. Yeah, he must be good. Oh, his name is... His name is Hold on, don't say it. Okay, someone who actually names this guy gets one of the magnets. How about that? First person to name him. And his actual name, we know his name, gets a magnet from this episode. Go ahead. I don't know what these name are, him. but I really think they're cool. I think so, too. I, like, want all of them. They're very detailed. Apparently, your brain cells will die if you smell the plastic, the PVC. So, let me unsmell them. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Don't smell it. Why'd you smell it after I told you not to smell it? Because <laughs> it smells like water wings. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's childhood, right so there. So what's his name? Apparently his name is Jem Jem or Bob or Cool Dude, Mad Looking Guy, Shovel Knight. <laughs> this shovel is like Knight. Dark Shovel Knight. Damien. No, nope, not Damien. Ness. Nope, not Venus. It's not Jem Jem either. 
Come on. Oh, oh. What is his name? I Someone. Forgot it really? No one knows his name. Where'd the box go? I threw it on the floor. It starts with an A. With oh, there we go. There we go. Kag Hat Pole. Kagat Pole. Wait, right, 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 right. Yeah, Arthas. He's the first person that named it. So Kagat Pole. You send us a private message and you get a magnet. Private message on YouTube, not Instagram. Private message on YouTube. Go to my not YouTube Facebook, channel. Not Twitter. Click on my YouTube, YouTube channel. Go to the About section. There's an instant messaging. That's the only way you're going to get these things. Not Instagram. Just to be clear. You're not getting this, by the way. You're, you're not getting, getting this. You're getting a magnet. <laughs> this is my pool toy. Yeah. And it smells like water. Good job. His name is uh, Arthas. Arthas? Show me that box. I threw it on the floor. Okay. Arthos. Arthos? Arthas. A-R-T-H-A-S. Pretty cool. He's super cool. Yeah, he's cool looking. And he's very, oh man, he's like a shovel knight. So a lot of like little details like in the skulls and the writing on the Yeah, sword. apparently. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, cool. Series one. Can you collect them all? Sure you can. Probably. If I try hard enough. Okay. I believe in myself. So uh, also we get a, um, a button uh, that commemorates every single loot crate. We like to collect these things, right? Yes. So we'd like to cl uh, collect all these awesome loot crate buttons. Uh, this one says November 2015, combat, looking cool. Uh, we love these, so you guys can also collect them as well. So what else was in there? There was actually something else in there. There was. Uh, Do you want to show everyone? What no. is that? It's um, they're, they're, it's called the Gift of Geek. Okay, and what is it? They're little gift card tags for presents. See that, guys? No, you can't see anything. What is that? Uh, Oh, there, oh, there you, go. you go. So, oh, Two okay. Crumbs, and then they got the... What do you do with these? You put them on presents. They you say don't... to and from. Okay. Gift of the loot. A... Oh, here's what you do. So, happy holidays. At Loot Crate, we try to make our loot crates as special as... Uh, use these tags to celebrate the spirit of the holidays. Regift your loot to someone who will love it just as much as we love you. So, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, we got a little uh, gift tags in case we want to give away um, nothing in this crate. Because <laughs> this was actually a very, very good crate. I love it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, the Shredder Shades. I'm I'm looking forward to you painting this thing over and making it an Abdallah Smash. I have no artistic talents. And, um, of course, we like this little dude. It's tools. And I love this comic, too. I can't wait to read this by reading pictures because that's what I do. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um. So we had how many winners today? We had a couple of them. Three. Uh, we had three. Mm, yeah, yeah, we had three winners. I think Zari Voss, some guy at the very beginning, won because uh, he knew Suzaku Castle. And then somebody. And then some Zari Voss and the other person, uh, like, also, like tied. I don't remember who that was, but you remember who you are, right? And then someone also won because they. Uh, one they, they knew this they guy's, knew guy's name. name. Yeah, that's right. So four people, four people won, and then all over all of the leftover uh, magnets that we'll have, we'll give away to some of the Patreon supporters that are actually here. So it'll be very cool. So anyway, uh, uh, yeah, what do you got? Do you want to know what next one's loot crate is? I do. Do you know it? Yeah. What is it? I'm pretty sure, like ninety-five and a half. Should we look it up? That it is Galaxy. What? Like Star Wars, because Star Wars. Comes oh, out next that's month. a great idea. Okay, yeah, we're going to loot crate. Because I know right it now. said that there was a Star Wars exclusive in it, um, but I don't remember what anything else in there was because I heard Star Wars in my brain went okay. Um, where is it? Where uh, is it? Show the next one. Go to the top. It was right there. No. The edition crate, yada yada. Oh, here we go. Star Wars crate. No, that's okay. That's like an ultimate crate. That's an ultimate crate. Hmm. So, you could also... Okay, let me just tell you lots of things. Okay, let's hear about Loot buttons. Crate. Loot Crate is awesome, and you can level up your Loot Crate so that you get um, really cool... Like, I can't do two things at once. I don't know why I thought I was going to be able to do it. Hmm. Um, so, you can level up... Here. Whoa, Galaxy? Okay, so what? you can level up your loot crate for like a couple extra dollars a month and you can get like really cool apparel items in it. So there's like different levels to leveling up. You can level up once and get like two pairs of socks or you can level up again and get like a t-shirt or oh. no, an accessory. 
And this I don't is know, cool. But now I'm like, you're talking. Yeah, I know. And then um, you can level up again for like a really cool T-shirt or hoodie or something like that. So there's leveling upgrades. And now Loot Crate has come out with a bunch of, like, sub-loot loot crates. Mm-hmm. So you could get, like, an anime loot crate shipped to your house if you're, like, a big anime person. Um, I, like I said, they're, they're coming out with a pet loot crate, which I really mm-hmm. can't wait for. I'm going to totally order one. So if you're a big anime person, are you, like, you got, like, the eyes, like, those anime so, eyes, and, like, you're larger than other people? Is that what you meant? Yes. Okay, cool, And you cool. may or may not be a robot. Mm-hmm. Got it, got it. Um... And then there's like, yeah, there's a, so there's the Call of Duty crate out right now. A Call of Duty crate, whoa. Which, I, if you're a big Call of Duty person, maybe you should probably ask for this for your birthday or, or Christmas or something or whatever, Hanukkah, whatever you might be celebrating. Because it's 11 items, 9 are exclusive items. And it's $100. Whoa. So that's why you want to ask for it for Christmas or birthday, Hanukkah, etc. That's cool. Because... Then you're going to get, like, the coolest present ever, and you don't even know what it is. All right. All so, you know is that it's awesome. Okay, so let's talk about next month's Loot Crate. Okay, so it's called Fine. Galaxy, right? So you get exclusive items from Star Wars Episode Seven, Something The Force so Awakened, and Halo 5 Guardians. And Guardians gets... of the Galaxy? No, no, no. Oh, Guardians of Halo 5. Halo Sorry. 5 Guardians, and then you've got, Gal- what's Galaxy Quest? Mm. I don't know either. Let's click it's on learn more. It's not that movie that we grew up with, is it? it? I think it is. With Tim Allen? I think it is. What is Galaxy Quest? You guys know what Galaxy Quest is? I think it is that movie. And we watched it in the Yeah, 1999. Yeah, right that, font. that is exactly it. Galaxy Quest, that old movie. That's it was like a good movie. It was funny. 17 years old. 16 cult years old. following. Okay, maybe there is a cult following. Okay, access to satellite data. Okay. All right, we're done with that. All right, so you can get your very own awesome loot crate um, for Galaxy, but the thing is you have to order in the next, I believe, three days. Mm-hmm. You have three days to decide if you want a Galaxy crate with your coupon. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so there's three days to um, pretty much act on it, so make sure you guys do that, okay? Help us out. Go to LootCrate.com. be this cool. Yeah, that's right. Dude, this is awesome. This is really awesome. I can't wait for that. A Star Wars and Halo? I wonder what they're going to put for Halo. I have no idea. Like maybe another like toy or something? Or maybe some exclusive DLC? I feel like I saw that there was going to be a pop doll in next month. Mm. So I'm kind of voting that it's one of the Star Wars pop dolls because I've seen a lot of those when I go out to the store, the Yoda and the R2-D2 and Darth yeah. Vader. And I want... Oh, and the Chewbacca. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay well uh all you guys who are uh, watching right now uh help us out by smashing that like button for one um that definitely always helps out and of course if you guys have the monetary means of doing so head on over to lootcrate.com slash abdallah smash 026 and use that coupon code to save yourself a couple bucks if you don't have money on you ask for it for christmas ask for it for christmas there we go hanukkah starts like next weekend or today. so that you can say Tomorrow? actually like here's my christmas Tomorrow. list or here's my hanukkah list a loot crate, and then underneath you put parentheses and you write lootcrate.com slash abdallah smash 026. And then in even more parentheses or brackets, you write use coupon code abdallah nation. So that it's a $20 gift. That's a great present that you give someone. And uh, of course, or you can just, there's a link in the description. Have them click on that. Yeah. Send them to this video. Send them to this have video. Have them watch it. So yeah, say watch these awesome people fight over um, who's the best ninja who's turtle. Who's the best ninja turtle? And what I'm was right. what was the name of like the the guy in Street Fighter or like Mortal Kombat you were talking about? It was named like uh, so like Rai Rai Boom Boom or something. What what you call him? Rai Rai Lightning Eyes. Oh, Ryu from Mortal Kombat. Okay, got it, got it, okay. It's not Ryu, is no, it? No, it's, Ra- it's Raiden. <laughs> anyway. Have Raichu? A- yes, yes, Raichu. Um, so, yes, smash Our the name. like button, um, of course, and direct them over to this episode. And we'll go from there. And if you guys want to catch up on other awesome other ones, stuff. yeah, if you want to catch up on older Loot Crate unboxings, just so you see what we've got in previous ones, you can check out the playlist, too. That's in the description as well. We had some pretty good stuff. Uh, we just recently started doing the live stream kind of format because I feel it's a little bit more interactive. We're able to give away some of the goodies to you guys. Magnets. Uh, magnets, which is actually pretty cool. I we love gave magnets. away we gave away like a coin on the last one, like a like a oh, Hearthstone yeah. coin. Yeah, we yeah. gave that away to a winner. I think they were able to like name all the Pokemon or something. Uh, that was awesome. Oh, anyway, okay. that was really cool. So so that's gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Smash the like button. 
Um, you guys can also... Shredder will get you. Yeah, you guys can uh, support us by going over to Loot Crate and using our vanity link right up there and using our coupon code. That definitely helps us out. And, and uh, yeah. yeah, it helps you guys. And of course, if you want to help us out further, you guys can check out our Patreon site, patreon.com slash abdallasmatch026, where we, too, give you guys some very awesome incentives. So uh, more on that, uh, you can visit the site. So that's where we're at. Um, this is really good. Thanks for the Shredder Shades. Yeah. Thank you, Loot Crate, for the awesome bobblehead doll that someone's going to make. For those of you guys who have this at home, make it and send it to me, okay? Just, have just it as, right here. No, you're like you're doubting your like artistic ability. I need the paintbrushes and paint that you could paint on plastic, and I don't know what kind of paint that is mm. because I don't know what paint is. Got it. Neither do I. I just know about Crayola paints, and I don't think that's gonna work. No, I don't think so. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be it for our loot crate live stream. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, by all means, if you guys enjoyed it, do everything that we told you to do. And then some. And then some. We'll talk to you on the next Loot Crate Live next month. Go be awesome, Internet. All right. See you guys. Bye. Bye.